It's Tech Thursday. I know that over this month, we've been with the Money Sense guy, and I know that you definitely have picked up something one word or the other. Today, we're looking at how technology impacts the velocity of money. Alex Ihena Cho, the Money Sense guy, is a best selling author, investor, speaker, and the creator of the Five Wealth Distinction Framework. It is great to have you. You're welcome, Alex. I call. Wonderful. Pleasure, man. Well, yeah, I, I love the words you're putting together velocity and money and all of that, how technology. Has, what do you, first of all, what do you mean by the velocity of money? So, um, velocity of money talks about the speed, the speed of transmission of money. So, mm. the speed at which money moves around. Around. Because, you know, money is currency. Yes. It has current. Mm. Current flows, mm. right? So, that speed, uh, speed of flow mm. is what we refer to as velocity of money. So, this inflow, is it inflow and outflow? So, it's both in and out. Both right? in and out. Yeah. So, 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 so um, let's assume that this is an economy, mm. right? So if a millionaire is put in the economy, how fast can he move around? Can he move around. That's the velocity of money, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. now this is a holistic one, looking at a yeah. wider point of, wider view, point of, of that, view, how it affects and all of that. Okay. I know it's something that we can also tailor individually, yeah, and that's what we're going to learn from. Okay. Now, technology, of course, how does it affect, affect this particular... Uh, so if, if, you look at, if you look at um, history, history tells us that the 21st century, right, is, has become the easiest century to be wealthy, mm. right? The 21st century alone had produced the highest number of rich people, right? Mm. The 21st century alone has produced the highest number of rich people in comparison to all the centuries combined. So what that tells you is that in 21st century, it's easy to become rich. It's also very easy to become broke. Wow. And that so is where... both ways. Yeah, it's both ways. Easier right? to become rich, easier rich to become, become broke. broke. So you can just see someone, you put up a couple of things together, your idea goes viral quickly, you're not rich, right? Mm. You have money, True. right? And at the same time, you also do one or two things. You see an ad, you click on it, or you see a link, you click on it, and then you're hacked, and <laughs> everything's gone, exactly. right? Yeah. In fact, one person, one, <laughs> one, one uh, uh, scenario that comes to mind is the, 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 the biggest TikToker in the world now. Yeah, Abby, yeah this guy from... The, yeah. the, the Senegalese yeah, Italian, Italian guy. who... Uh, during the lockdown, factory <laughs> worker put videos together. He wasn't even talking. We were even talking. He said, <laughs> said all he did was, you know, how his hands yeah, yeah. his And today, he's, he's worth billions of, of, you know, and, and all of that. That's technology for you. And you see the skit makers in Nigeria, you know. So um, this thing is what technology can do. So the velocity of money gets to them quickly because of the fact that they're able to leverage technology. And as a business person, too, mm. if you're able to leverage technology, what happens is that your product goes viral. People in different places get to know you, get to buy mm. a product. People get to interact with you without even having to meet you first, right? Now, with technology, for example, my book, I have the e-version of it. Exactly. I don't ever get to see some of the people that buy the book. They the just book. download and they pay, and they right? Pay. Velocity of money. Now, imagine that I'm able to uh, maybe be on CNN and I talk about something and then... Mm like 1 million people hit the website. Okay. And then maybe they give me like, say, $10. Each person, yes. Do the math. I understand. Right? Exactly. So that's what happens. That's also how fast you can also lose money and how fast you can also lose opportunities. So what I tell people is that um, what the 21st century has done with the advancement in technology is that it has made it easy for you to get richer. It has also made it easy for you to become poorer. And that is why... The gap between the rich and the poor is getting wider more than ever before. And, hmm. you know, unless people begin to understand, because first you have to understand what's going on, you have to understand that there is a change, and it's not something you wish away, it's not something you pray away, it's something you understand and become a part of, right? And hmm. until you do that, you will just be on the receiving end of the effect. It's called, I, like, I like what you yeah. said. It, it, it has so happened that... It is what it is now. Yeah. So that means that if you don't join the bandwagon, one word you're there, you are... <laughs> it will crush you. It will crush it will you. Grow, yeah. so it will crush you. It will crush you, definitely. So the game is... Now, the worst thing you can say now is, I hate tech, or I'm not tech inclined, or I'm not... You know, some people tell you, oh, I'm not... Um, how do they even... I'm not techy, mm. right? It's, it's, I tell people that in the next few years... What's going to happen is, you know, in the olden days when we had this one guy that went to England to study, mm. who comes back to write a letter for everyone in the community the and community. becomes like the, mm. <laughs> the god of the community, exactly. right? That is how people who are tech inclined are going to become in a community of ignorant tech people. Of, of ignorant people. And the point is that you are now more open. It's going to be easier to hack you because one word or the other, 
for you to live in this world, yeah, you're your exposed. finances or wealth are controlled by technology. You're exposed, yeah. If you're going to bank, it's going to be controlled. Yeah. Except you want to dig <laughs> uh, somewhere you got and put the money inside. And that will be a problem because you go to do some transactions, some people tell you, I don't take cash. There are places you walk into now, they tell you, I don't take cash. So you can't pay them with cash. You have to do a transfer. Right? I, I was speaking with someone yesterday. Someone wanted to give him money. He was going somewhere. Someone, he was telling the person that, oh, I want to give you this, but the problem is I can't take cash. So unless you can do a transfer to me. So if you bury the money there, and now the money is not in a place where you can easily do an internet banking kind, internet of, thing, banking kind of thing, you are, what happens is that you're stuck with your money stuck there. Stuck with your money. You right. see, there's some, some other thing also is, let's talk about commerce here, because yeah. there are a lot of people that are also afraid of moving forward. Like, say, yeah. for instance, we, we have cases of people using fake alerts. Yeah, sure. To sure, buy something, sure. and uh, people are scared because if you can let that, you get something from in yeah. quote your bank, yeah, you know, and all of that. Yeah, not... I know that yes, you can check your balance. In what ways can people, you know, uh, hedge themselves in in, in situations like yeah. this where technology can take money from them? Yeah. So in that instance, now it talks about you being um, you being literate, you being mindful, you being observant. Then you creating some kind of your own internal structure that guides you, mm -hmm. right? So for example. Um, Personally, I have some um, rules of engagement on the internet, right? Okay. So if you send me a link and I click the link and I'm getting some funny directions because of the fact that I'm enlightened, I quickly back out. Back right? out, yeah. Exactly. So um, you don't expose your emails, you don't expose your passwords, all of those things are cybersecurity um, measures, safety measures, measures safety right? Measures, yeah. Then on your own part as a business person, you have to have some kind of rules. The thing is, it will happen, but if it happens to you or you hear it happen to someone else, learn.